ya gula sebe mkwe dilo ujolof Mbata Hello my sugar binga bungas, welcome Bizek. Ooh, my, my, my. I am flabbergasted, I am perplexed by how the world is going to shit. I mean both figuratively and literally. Just recently we spoke about how people are getting shat on, spat on and are fornicating with animals in order to secure the bag and how they are now just normalizing, romanticizing and even glamorizing these dark, demonic, demeaning and dehumanizing ritualistic they're trying so hard to shove this nonsense down our throats. They're trying so hard to make it come across as freaky in a sexy way. To the point where they call getting pissed on taking a golden shower. Just listen to that. Golden shower. When you think golden shower, you're thinking, ooh, I'm getting showered with gold, luxury, treasure, shiny, blingy, beautiful things, right? Wrong. You're actually getting urinated on. Do you understand? Do you have any idea how many impurities and toxins urine contains? Umkamo. Something you're supposed to be releasing, excreting, removing from your body because it is bad for you. That's why I decided to rock this color because ufana nimkamo yabanyabandu abanga puzamans. Abang azima fruits, abang azima veg, abang hamu bi papa bala bi neck. Kada me pro. The very same way they have their mouths wide open for poo is the very same way they open up their mouths for urine to enter. And then you kiss your children with that mouth. Other people even go as far as kissing other people's children with those mouths. You kiss your parents, your loved ones, with that very same mouth. You communicate with human beings with that very same mouth and you expect to You think and then you make it a point. You make it your life's mission. You even turn it into a career to recruit other people. And it's not just women. Men are doing this too. Men are getting shat on. Men are getting pissed on and pissed in. As previously mentioned, yonke imbobo. No hole goes untouched. And because you know just how tough life is for some people, you use that to your advantage. And you take advantage of the needy. You take advantage of the desperate. And we can go around blaming men all we want. Yes, bakwashagele, abanye babo, abanye bayashugumeza, bayanugubeza, bazenzelange force. But in most cases, people know exactly what they're getting themselves into. Therefore, it is important, it is crucial to take accountability. Guys, I know how tough life can be. I know how difficult and challenging life is. But I also know that there are countless ways to get on your feet and keep it moving and to live your best life. I've shared some of these ways with you guys. I have multiple times. But the problem is if it's not gossip, if it's not bad news, if it's not indaba, if it's not igaka, People don't care. 
There are people who just don't mind staying in that low, dark place in Gunapagate. So long as Bona befuku ngei gaka skaka after skaka a chabulu muntu a kiki tege a zizu guzao gimono ngoba pela shuti sonke spilim pilo ema ragaraga ema nigi nigi anga loe nik ala nik ugu zang zamu itu tugi samaba wonku muntu kayegile a guana wonku muntu kayegile stop trying to convince yourself that wonku muntu uya niswa or wonku muntu uya nya a life in no <laughs> Mabeti life is unfair. <laughs> Basu gebe kule mikunis. Kuna bantu nje aba pila impilo em nandi en tofo ntofo. Se lo kuba fige msabe ni bebe lo gebe pila ganjalo. Futi bayo zibe yo ngeena eko din be pila ganjalo. Intanta ya. Basu kuba kuna bantu abanya matala. And it's unfortunate because it's katis ni mutolu kuta abanda ba lungile. Abanda ba kwanza hayo. Abanda mtanda hayo nkulungulu. But one thing that I know for certain is that Makduna be pumile glio position so long as they want to. So long as they work towards emancipating themselves. So long as they relinquish fear, jealousy, envy, and all these negative thoughts and emotions. And they focus on themselves and they do what's right for them and they do what it is they need to do to elevate and progress in life. Their dreams come to fruition. And that is why I am tired. I am just so tired of excuses. Every now and then we all have curveballs thrown at us. But And we soldier on. So I will never understand, because it will never make sense to me, why people subject themselves to such. Because in life there are always options and there are always choices to be made. Especially when you're an adult. In Wondo Masi Suzil, we are was Tatala, Nala, Ushanganis, Pumin de Katil. And Fono Kulumaga Kulungangani will get to children. We'll get to Ingani. I don't want to unpack Ink Inga Zangani, Nezin to Ingani, go through or have to do in order to survive in Bilwani because that's another story. That's a completely different topic that will cover Golunusug and trust and believe we will cover it, Matala Onke, because I have a lot to say there's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done my lana ningani nendlela ingane ephila ngayo o esikhathini esiningi ezipoqeleka ukuthi igcine sephila ngayo but no umdala nje mfethu ha ha do better njenga manje ubizi ezimbabwe is pity pit on a sas unqarara nta abantu banqunywe obhozo people's toes are getting cut not by force no these people take themselves to these people who cut their toes. And these toes are being cut for tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands, depending on the size of the toe, possibly even the aesthetic of the toe. Why on earth would I sacrifice my beautiful toes? So I bona gim kumogaz in a makrekugaz in mtondoshia ikuka ikuka gati yon nyopoz. Use tengi moto, wa tengu muzi bandu zizwe is koko. Banyazo na di tana ish D D six ish Nazara one eh on zizukumizna was eh Forty, as my dad would say, Wenze Labani. Have you ever stopped to think and question why these body parts are being cut? Where are they going? What are they doing with these human body parts? Yet again, dark, demonic, demeaning, dehumanizing, ritualistic acts. You may say, oh, sharp, dark and demonic because I'm sacrificing my body parts and they're going to do A, B, C, and D, but wins multi or whatever, sharp, but demeaning, ganjan. Do you not know the world that we live in? The minute you don't look quote unquote normal, what corner into a short dial, Gwena, Usubizong is dalwa. 
Usubizwa ngesloane. Is that not demeaning? Utabang butabanda bazalo kanjalo. And people who were born with various conditions ask for that? They don't. Yet when uziela ngo engozin, uziela ngo matupa ebumnyamen, uit elel guting sige, kona naming zo pilimpilo yop kazi kazi, naming funi soft life. Enga tazike zi ninja lazo we totally soft life. Nya kiki tege, <laughs> naman genza yinu pozo, ku yin nya pelang 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 inte u pozo. I call it to live by giving Guna Pagat. Upozo is sit or sack or some zimba. What do you think they're going to do with those toes? Auk azu po mengi show e Africa. Got a nabo pozo baku back to Elum Shaba Wong, Usum Kijimi Pel. Usu to Goloshi. Usu twe to leeway. Utatwe is sit or sack or some zimba when the woman tanda naso. And you approved it. You sacrificed your toe. Not just your toe, your toe is connected to every single thing that has to do with you. Your toe has your blood, your DNA. And once agents of darkness get a hold of your DNA, ooh, it spares. It is late for you, my friend. Yet you're not seeing that. You're not even thinking that far. <laughs> Ezo shabalala manji, unga azu busisho nepi. Iveli nyamalala uvuge one day, ulele mkakoen, kwa tagatu lele estabatabeni. Utu sabatea, haibo? Ipi range ya anu? Ipi range ya enze njani. Uiboneli kundu anilapu. Shabalali ya ni, awazi nuguti gepi. Awazi nuguti zomtola api lo mundom nigo opozo baku. Mugi ya ni, sekfezi ile yenabe kufanele akfeze. Gesito saku somzimba, gekazi, laku. You have no idea what kind of contract you're signing by sacrificing those toes of yours. But so long as you've proven the haters wrong, so long as your enemies can see that you're living large, that's all that matters to you. And then you have the audacity to shit on people like Uncle Waffles. When they use their talents to stack that paper, to secure the bag. You scrutinize her. You criticize her. You try by all means to find urong. Ngaye. Genze la koga ngayo. Ngobiena. Just so you can feel better about your crappy life. That lady is genuinely talented. And she's extremely smart because she decided to use her talent to secure the bag for her. To this very day, she blocks out the noise. She ignores the naysayers. And she is flourishing. Yet you want to analyze videos and circle certain parts where she's not touching a certain button. So you can argue that she doesn't have any talent. In fact, she's using pre-recorded mixes. And she's a dancer, not a DJ. Well, guess what? She is everything. She can be whatever she wants. She can be an all-rounder. Just because you were told that you can't have it all doesn't mean it's true. You were told that and you were convinced that that is true by people who had failed, by people who were miserable, by people who were projecting their own failures, miseries, and struggles unto you. And you believed it. And you became those very people. And now you're projecting your failures, your miseries, your struggles unto other people. Because you're just like, how? How is it possible? I was told it isn't. It also didn't work out for me. So surely it can't work out for other people. No, it didn't work out for you. Inkinga igwena. Fix yourself. Fix your shortcomings. Work on your weaknesses. Stop thinking what it just because where now you live a basic life. Everybody else ought to live that life. Stop being so jealous and so bitter to the point where you even question its sexuality your mundu. Uncle Waffles is a lady without a shadow of doubt, but if she were a man in Kinga Ikepi. Because she's a human being, using her talents, fulfilling her purposes. 
And just because when you think you're a one-trick pony and you haven't figured out what's or what your purpose or purposes are, doesn't give you the right to question and walk all over other people. And I hate how you do this to women all the time. I absolutely love Tebukho Tobejane and I commend her for coming on to podcast and chill and setting MacGyver and Saul straight by telling them so the problem is why are you guys so interested in our vaginas or what we do with our vaginas we're not special what's the problem if we had to book put your dicks on a platter the way you guys put our pussies on a platter wouldn't be nice guys Where's no, this coming from? I mean, you know, there's stuff like, you know, it girls don't get married and um, some people should just put out their wholeness and say, hey, I'm a hoe, come and buy. You know, you, it's, it's, I feel like you're a bit hard on us. The guys do buy. And you guys are the buyers. So why are your dicks not on the plate? Mm. You are buying. Mm. You are supporting the industry and then you are shunning us. Like, you might as well just say, you guys are hoes. Every girl. I also want to get married. So you don't think I can cook, I can clean just because I've got a big bum and I can't take care of a man because I'm oh, an it oh, girl? Oh, no, Did no. I choose to be popular? No. It just happened. She's sleeping with old men. Shouldn't she come out and say, guys, me, I sleep with old men. So whichever woman follow her will know the truth. So they will follow not blindfolded. But I just like doing makeup. I didn't do this to, to have women wanting to do what I do. I was showing them makeup. I didn't say I'm showing them what I'm doing with my vagina. That's what I'm selling on YouTube. What I do behind closed doors it's got nothing to do with anybody. Oh, and it's tricky, okay. bro. Okay. You've owned a club. I think so. Before. What do you think, ghost lady? I That's think fair. It's fair. If, if I was selling porn on YouTube and I'm not fucking, that's selling a lie. But if I'm selling makeup, I didn't say I'm selling hoeing. It's a um, order. Follow my makeup. Don't follow my... And if I have extra nice handbags because I'm pretty also, oh, it's got nothing to do. Okay. I get what you mean. Like I'm not out here putting on nice clothes so that I'm showing the girls how to be styled and to look like a bad bitch. If what you get by being a bad bitch, that's that's on you. Mm-hmm. It's not my example to say after being a bad bitch, you're going to go sell your ass. No. Yeah, it's actually nobody's business. Oh, I get, I get what you're saying because Black Coffee is portraying... <laughs> As a DJ, but we don't know what he does in the bedroom. We don't. Black You're coffee. right. Maybe black coffee learn our kikisa. Why is it men that don't? Oh sleep? wow! <laughs> <laughs> How did black coffee get to the top? That's, wow. that's a fair question. <laughs> yes, it's a fair, it's a fair yeah. question. How did black coffee? How come everybody else has a lot? It's a good DJs, but they don't have Grammys. How did black coffee do? But if a girl the does it, there, oh, bro. she should have fucked somebody for it. No, because the work is there with like we see. The work is he, there. He's like, one of the best guys mm-hmm, to mm-hmm, be on doing the deck. makeup mm. on YouTube. That's her work. Yes. Why is it that whenever a woman is doing great in life, you have to question how she got to that level? Men are never questioned. Black Coffee is extremely successful. We know he's talented. The same applies to Uncle Waffles. She's talented. She's successful because she is talented. So sorry that she happens to be drop dead gorgeous and that she happens to have a flawless body that you're trying to scrutinize and make it seem as though daughter, because she hasn't done a BBL. Why don't you question how he got his Grammy? But when Bonang gets awarded for something, ulale no producer, ulale ne cool uzale o leo award. Why? Yofuna ni pesheya. Yofuna matota. O cholo fries. Xenophobia. Stemming from what? Jealousy. Envy. Because she'd never look in your direction. You'd never stand a chance with her. But because she tends to entertain certain foreign guys, it's a problem. Ushalap njobese meliga. She's always at the park. Ushangana pi. Why do you always want to know the nitty gritty details? Zempilo Zaband. You're not entitled to that. They don't owe you anything. They signed up to be entertainers, not to fulfill your desires and your fantasies and to please you. Senfunungenavantema pagetininas yonkinto, 
nga ma personal lives ab ngibe nxakwa hawini we ubuyile meli kuhlulekile kushaba thakathi bomona sendina ukazi ugibele nane banoyi awukazi ugibele kwabhasa elisuka la uhlala khona lepitoli yet here you are ya bewuza ngempilo zabanye abantu abakwazi ukundizela phezulu baye emazweni uhlulwe yini siyambona uya phila and she still making big moves yet wena uhlulwa impilo kodwa unesibindi so ukuthi uhlulekile melika umuntu mayisuka kubo ahambe aye kwelinyizwe ayokwenza whatever it is that they want to do and then they decide to go back home uhlulwe yini what makes you think they have failed what makes people think ukuthi when people go home which is literally home like i can't define that any further i can't place emphasis on the importance of it any further it is home sengqedile ukuya kwenza le nto kade ngiyoyenza sengifuna ukuya ekhaya why then do you associate that with struggle or failure niyazibona ukuthi ni weird kanjani niyazibona ukuthi niyagula kangakanani she loses weight we uyagula sebe mqedile ojolof bukithanganyana she gains weight oh look at those love handles disgusting She wears wigs. Oh, when will we ever get to see you rocking your natural hair? She does so, or she rocks a hairstyle that highlights her natural hair. Oh! Uma qothu qothu, ihela intololo. Unjani ma unje, buke ikhanda ngakanani, isiphongo sona. Kanti yini, bantu bakithi, umuntu uyakhula, we, akasagugile. She's so old, imbimbi. Ushwabeni, ukukuphelile. Bathong, wonke umuntu uyakhula. You're not immune to that. You're not exempt from that. Growing up, growing older, aging is a huge blessing. How do you weaponize that? How do you make someone feel crappy for growing older? And again, it's always with women. Nihlezi ninakana nabantu besifazane. Women have children in their 20s. Oh, washeshabo, jaheni. They don't have children in their 20s. Uhlaleleni, ayabola amaqanda. Uhlangana phi? Awuzazi nokuzazi inhlelo umuntu anazo ngempilo yakhe. You don't even know whether that woman wants children or not. You don't even know whether they have fertility issues or not. You expect abanye abantu ukuthi baqabangele eduze njengawe. Not everyone wants to bring children into poverty. Not everyone is okay with bringing children into a mediocre lifestyle. Not everyone is comfortable to bring children into a millionaire lifestyle. Some people want to be billionaires first. How about that? Our goals, dreams, aspirations, ambitions differ greatly, immensely. With all this coke in the world it gets really annoying when people keep poking their noses in other people's businesses especially when it comes to things that they didn't sign up to tell you or share with you so in closing angithi nje bantu bakithi ke siyeke nokuphapha instead let's work towards ubumbana njengezinqa ukuze abantu bezoya kulo ebesihlakaza kanje akawayesi yohlezi siyiqasha lala 